All right, hey guys, let's talk about getting off the X or getting offline. And I'm gonna start with something that drives me, banana sandwich. It goes like this. Sometimes I call this the range reload shuffle because folks will do a reload and this is, this is exactly what they do. Bang, 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 bang. And then they'll go empty and then they'll drop mag and reload and hit and pop. I moved offline. Other, other times so they'll be like, boom, boom, boom move offline or even off the draw, off the draw, all of a sudden threat. Really? Are you getting offline there? Is that off the X? All right, folks, everybody finger gun at me real quick. Some of you guys are at five yards. Some of you guys are at three yards. And what I want you to do, if you can, is try to keep sights on me while I, like a ninja, disappear with this little off the X move. Y'all ready? Ready? And... And I disappear. <laughs> it's a joke, isn't it? It is a joke. This is not offline. Do it again. Finger guns. Ready? And I disappear. And holy cow, crap. But what about at distance? There we go. Finger guns. Everybody got me? And I disappear. Yes. This helping anybody? No. Who's it slowing down? You or me? You. you. Me. That's it. It's a nervous little dance. It doesn't actually cost you any time. It costs me time, right? So when we're talking about movement offline, now uh, I want to give a uh, break to some instructors that teach this. Some instructors will say, hey, step off or get offline. And this isn't getting offline, but you got a firing line of like 10, 15, 20 dudes out there. You can't actually everybody bolt to get offline. Otherwise you're running in front of muzzles. It's a safety concern. So some instructors will say, hey, step offline. And this is a placeholder so that when you go train on your own, you won't take one step, you'll take eight or 12. That's good stepping offline. Uh, but in terms of let's be realistic in our philosophy, our gunfighting philosophy, so that we have effectual offline movement. There are times when one step does get us off the X or offline. For instance, here, I can take one step. I'm off the line. I'm off the X, aren't I? Here's another one. Somebody uh, stand up. Give me a volunteer here. Uh, come here, right here, Joey. All right, fantastic. So uh, go ahead and present at me. One step. Am I off the X? Yeah. Yes. And how do you feel right now? Very vulnerable. Like you're about to get smoked, aren't you? That's one step gets me off the X there. I'm offline as long as I know exactly what to do from there. Uh, so uh, it, that's one step offline. But typically, this is a real bad practice. Oftentimes, people who rehearse the draw and the step offline together, they'll be behind cover. And then because they're used to always taking that step offline, they'll step outside of cover to draw because they're used to that, it's programming, it's not thinking, it's just automatic movement, which is can be really, really dangerous on a battlefield. So if we're talking about getting off the X, let's be realistic in most of our gunfighting context and realize the X is a lot bigger than you think. This is not the X. That's not the X, we just demonstrated. Here's the X. I mean, it's a huge honking X. So everywhere I go, I am still on the X and my little range reload shuffle doesn't do anything but slow me down, dork up my accuracy and draw fire. Therefore, when we're talking about movement, I want realistic off the X. So if somebody's all up on me, go ahead and stand up uh, and they're drawing down and they catch me by surprise. One is I'm gonna have to go ahead and disarm or do something else to disrupt this because I really can't get off the line fast enough. If there was some way that I could get off line, I need to really back up and this is me getting off the line. See the fast, aggressive bolt movement and hopefully I can land some hits while I'm retreating and that would be good offline movement. Uh, and really even this, I'm moving faster than generally you would ever think to, holy cow, he's booking out. And even still, that may not be fast enough. I may, I may get shot, man. He got the jump on me. I'm probably getting shot, but I know every single step I take away from Joe Gangbanger's muzzle, it gives me a statistical uh, higher likelihood of living. The farther away I get, the more likely it is that I live, right? 
So in your own training, and when we're thinking about our gunfighting philosophy, our philosophy of movement, recognize we want to make space, make space as civilians or even a lone patrol cop, unless you're part of an assault element, which is going to be the opposite. you got multiple barrels, chaos, confusion, you're a rush, aggression, violence of action. Then you're going the opposite way and you overwhelm with shock and awe. Uh, but you guys aren't part of a tactical team. Therefore, make space, make space. Get off that X. Sometimes here's the right answer. You ready? And you just bolt. Get behind cover. Get low, tiny angle, and kill them. Right? That's the right answer sometimes. Sometimes the right answer is don't you move a muscle. You've been practicing this. All, they don't see you. You got the jump. Justifiable shoot and whew, pop. That's the right answer. It's not always... Little shuffle, the X is bigger than you think. Got it? Say I got it. I got it.